Welcome back to another video guys. I hope you're having a great day. Today in this video I want to cover how you can potentially make millions of coins using this specific silver training method. Now guys for more training videos and training streams make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. That is what we do on this channel. We do stream pretty much daily so make sure you get involved over on the streams on YouTube. Now let's talk about this specific silver trading method now you've probably heard of the word fluctuation trading a lot on the fifa community any trader that you watch will probably mention the word fluctuation about 20 times a stream maybe even 100 okay essentially what fluctuation means is you buy a card at, uh, at its low and you sell it at its high literally like a yo-yo and you want to try and find cards that yo-yo and fluctuate a lot so you can make uh, make profit essentially so the first card that i want to be looking at in terms of fluctuation is robinson so guys i've maxed out my, my trade pile we're on over seven cards okay seven pages of cards so robinson you saw we picked one up here at 2.4k and if i go across here guys 850 coins 1000 coins 3000 coins that was actually bought from last week 800 coins 850 coins now you can see the fluctuation in the buying prices already between three and 850 coins so the ones that i bought at 850 coins are the ones that i purchased on its low so if i actually went to look at robinson right now he's actually about 5,000 coins now i want to talk about why he's five five thousand coins right now because it's very important that you guys actually understand why these cards actually fl fluctuate a lot so i'm going to briefly talk about why they fluctuate a lot and then i'm going to go on footbin to show you the best buy times and etc when to buy these cards in so you can make coins so let's actually go to my squad so you guys may have seen a new objective or a new you know thing that ea have been doing they've just dropped the efl championship stars but they've also been dropping the silver stars each each week every single wednesday when they drop alongside the team in a week so you can see Che Adams. Che Adams. Che Adams is the only Silver Stars I've actually completed because he plays in a Premier League and I had a Premier League themed team. So I thought, you know what, I'll go and do um, Che Adams. But you've seen Moyes Keen. You've actually seen Rule Breakers Akin Fenwa as well. You've also seen this Mukhtar that you might have seen on maybe Hashtag Harry or Fnatic Harry's videos. Now, essentially what happens, guys, is when they drop this Silver Stars objective on a Wednesday, people will then go and buy Silver Teams because Silver Teams are required in order to complete these objectives. And they will go into foot friendlies and, you know, complete the objectives. Now, the first couple of hours, guys, you will see you will see cars sort of rise. So I'm actually going to go over to Footbin right now. So we are on Footbin and we are looking at Robertson's price graph, which was something that we covered a, a little bit earlier in the video. Guys, the transition wasn't really great. Give me some slack. However, I want to just show you sort of the best buy times in regards to these uh, in regards to these players, when you should buy them. So let's have a look at Robertson. So as you can see, guys, we were talking about sort of fluctuation trading. This graph truly represents what great fluctuation is you can see at his low point on the 10th of november okay but you could see sort of his high point a, lot, a week earlier at 2.6k so literally 2.6k one week ago one week later he was 925 coins and i want to talk about when's the best time so essentially what happens guys is approaching the wednesday when you know these silver stars objective players are getting dropped they will rise a ton now footbin guys will say that his average buying price for that day was 2.6k however i know that is completely false guys when it comes to these graphs this is footbin's average price for that day so if obviously he if he was 800 coins before an objective and then he rises to 5k he might average out a 2.5k for that day however it, unless you know personally because you were selling those cards then you might not know that these cards actually sell for 6k which is what I was doing last week. I bought a lot of uh, Robinsons last week for two uh, for you know eight hundred coins. I ended up ended up selling them for three k. But a couple hours later, when the silver cards were were rare, it was about eight, eight or nine o'clock. It was actually five, six, seven thousand coins. So let's just have a look again. He then drops down to the Saturday for one point six k. So essentially, guys. I'm going to ask you the question, and you want you to put it in down in the comment section. When do you complete the objectives? We know that on FIFA right now that people complete objectives from Monday to Wednesday. So the best buy times, in my opinion, for these silver cards are between Thursday and the and Sunday. Now the reason because of this is because when they are dropped, you'll see a high, you see them skyrocket. Okay, people are urgently buying them because they've got nothing to do. They've got nothing to do on the Wednesday. They want to play foot champions. Then on Thursday, you should get, you know, some silver supply. You should get some pack supply from, you know, um, division rival rewards. You should get some supply from uh, marquee matchups. So generally, 
the, you might see a little bit of a drop off on Thursday, but then you'll see Friday hit. When Friday hits Saturday, Sunday, people playing foot champions, people not completing objectives. So on the Thursday, guys, let's just say this average price, he was 4K, okay? He was 4K, despite foot being saying it was 2.6K, that is his average for the day. He might have hit 4 or 5K. We come Friday, guys, come Friday, Saturday, his average price for that day was 1.6K, and that is because people are playing foot champions there's no demand to complete these objectives until the monday wednesday does that make sense people playing cha foot champions they're not completing objectives so there's a little bit of a sell-off people are selling at 1.6k guys this is just an average you might have been able to pick this card up for 1k now this is where you buy him because the monday wednesday you could see already on the sunday the next day he's already rebounded to 2.4k guys because People are finishing up foot champions. They're now thinking, well, what can I do on this game? Well, I'm going to start completing some of the objectives. So they go buy some of the silver cards. And you see a decent rebound of almost 1,000 coins for Robinson. Now, the Monday hits, and again, he sort of stabilized. And come Tuesday, he sort of rebounded. The last minute.com, people are rushing to complete these objectives. However, you see this massive drop, guys. You see this massive drop? He absolutely falls off a cliff. Now, why did this happen? And it's very... You know, it's very important to understand why this happened. Well, Che Adams expired and they did not drop another Silver Stars objective. Now, why did they not drop another one? It's because the season was ending on the Friday. So they just did not drop one. Now, I'm fully anticipating a Silver Stars objective card to be dropped on the Wednesday. So this was our buying point, guys. This was our buying point on the Thursday. Now, a lot of these cards, right, as you can see, 1.4K was his average price for that day because obviously... The night before he was 3k but you could see guys the deals that i picked up for 850 coins or a thousand coins was on that thursday which is a little bit less than what the average foot bin price actually says now we did get a little bit lucky in terms of some cards okay they did drop a championship efl however robinson doesn't play in the championship yes he is silver but he doesn't play in the championship now he has skyrocketed to about 5k now it does say that he is 3.4k here but he is actually 5k like I showed you earlier in the video. So that is why we bought in. In my in my feeling, we should be able to uh, sell this card for about 6 or 7k. Now, just another example. I've got loads on my trade pile, guys. I've got loads on my trade pile of St. Justy. And this is what you should be seeing. Now, if I go to sort of his daily graph, you can sort of see here the, the days coming into... Uh, che Adams. At the end of Che Adams' objective, he was 19k. So he was an in demand. People are using his card. He's 85 pace, 75 defending, 73 physical. But again, he flew off a cliff to around about 14k. Now, I've bought over 20 at 13k, and right now he's sitting at around about 15 to 16k. Now, we might see a bit of a rebound uh, into this card going into Wednesday because people are going to be completing objectives such as the EFL, and you do need silver cards. However, this card should rock it when we get a new silver stars objective now it does it does you know depend on which silver stars objective that is there is rumors that ryan kent will be that silver stars objective card he scored one fantastic goal for rangers just saying a four nil win it's evident and he got an assist so if there is ryan kent does drop i fully anticipate this card going back to twenty thousand coins but again what you can do guys what you can do is in terms of when to buy and sell there's sort of two buying points obviously i bought a load at when there was no objective the reason why they dropped so low because there was no objective to do for the silver stars that there was no demand for silvers. So obviously he, he fell 7 or 8k. So that's when I bought in. Because I'm fully anticipating on Wednesday that he will get um get an there will be a new Silver Stars objective. However, if you are someone who's looking at this video and you've not invested in any cards right now, I would look at maybe Hudson Odoi. Hudson Odoi went to 7 or 8k. Right now he's about 4 or 5k. I bought a load at 3,000 coins. However, the best buy times are between Thursday and uh, between Thursday and the weekend. As you can see here, guys, the Tuesday, the Tuesday, you know, Wednesday, this card is 17,000 coins. He ends up going to 20k on the Thursday. Now, when again, as I said, when foot champions hit, he actually drops down to 17k. So again, there's no demand for these silver cards because people are playing foot champions. However, if you was able to pick this card up on a snipe or an open bid for 16, 15k, if we actually look into the weekend, he slowly rises back up to 19, 20,000 coins on the Monday and Tuesday. And that is when people are completing objectives. Again, answer this question, guys. When are you completing objectives? For me personally, I'm completing objectives either on a day they come out, which is Wednesday, or 
or Monday to Wednesday after foot champions. So they're essentially your two buying points, guys. On the weekend when people are playing foot champions or when there's no objective and you buy it on that drop. Now, what I'm personally going to do, what I'm personally going to do is I'm going to sell these cards on the Wednesday. Everything that I've got in my trade poll, I'm going to be selling on the Wednesday because then I've sort of got maximum profit. Now, when foot champions hit and people play foot champions and there's no demand for those silver cards in terms of actually completing them until the Monday, Wednesday, that's when I'm going to buy in. When they've, I'm going to buy in again, that's when I'm going to buy in again and there should be a two or three 4K drop on certain cards. I'm going to buy in buying again because they should rebound come monday to wednesday so guys that is going to be the end of the video no it's not going to be the end of the video because i actually want to show you some other prices that i've actually picked up okay um if i stop recording and go back onto the actual console oh look what fantastic transitioning we have got on this channel but if i actually go back to my trade pile and actually have a look for you guys what cards i've sort of picked up so you can see a lot of St. justice here i've picked up a 13k but these hudson doys 2.7k a card chat 2.7k free care card now if i was actually to go and look at how much these cards are actually worth hudson Adoye right now i'm pretty sure is around the 5k mark so we're pretty much making 2k a card so right now he's 5.1k so we're making two or three k a car however i know when in maybe wednesday this card will go up to 7k so right now i'm gonna sell but i always will preach guys if you're happy with the coins sell them if you're happy with making two or three k a card sell them okay however i'm probably gonna be a little bit greedy i'm gonna wait till this card at least rebounds to 6.5k 7k right now st justy as well he's probably going for around about 15k i think right now so after tax we're not making that much but i know this card when an objective comes, that this card will be going back up to 20k. So, guys, there could be a potential buy-in. If you could pick this card up for around about 13k, 13k on a snipe, that'd be fantastic. Players such as Tanaysby, I picked up a lot of 4,000 coins. I have got on a trade pile. But right now, he is what? 7.2, 7.4k, guys. 7.4k. Now, if I was to go on my trade pile and actually show you, because I like providing evidence, guys. It's very easy to make these videos. However, if I don't show some kind of context or some kind of, you know, proof, then what does this video actually mean? I want to show you guys that this uh, trading method does actually work. So you saw his lowest buy it now was about 7.4K, uh, 7.3K. Look, 4.9K, 5K. I bought a load at pretty much, you know, under 5.3K, 4.6K. 5k we've bought about 20 of these at 5k so right now guys i'm probably making 1.8k a card however if i go by his footbin graph i know that this today's b actually sells for about 8 or 9k so again i'm probably going to be a little bit greedy i'm going to be pushing out for the 9k to pretty much double my course now guys that is actually going to be the end of the video i hope you enjoyed the sick transitioning in between these videos in between the console and footbin absolutely unreal editor however guys drop a like on the video if you haven't already make sure you subscribe for more trading videos trading streams all that good stuff and i'll catch you next video see you later